glorified and up to entered in the Vaikuntha planet, spiritual planet. There are also then degradation in a spiritual planet as well. <coughs> so in a nectar of instruction, Upadesha Amritam, Upadesha Amritam, Rupa Goswami talks about Mathura. Vaikunthat Janito Bara Madhupuri. <coughs> Madhupuri, Mathura, is greater than, superior than Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha Janito Bara Madhupuri because Krishna displays his birth, <coughs> birth taking pastime. Janam Lila. That the reason why Mathura is superior to superior than Vaikuntha planet or greater than Vaikuntha planet. <coughs> and uh, again Rupa Goswami described uh, Madhup Tatrapi Rasosavat Vrindaranyam. Superior to or uh, greater than Mathura is are the twelve forest of Braja. You know the Braja area, that density, that location, there are twelve different for forests. Jamuna river flows from that Braja. Jamuna flowing from north to south and on the western bank of Jamuna there are seven celebrated forests and on the eastern <coughs> Eastern bank of Jamuna, there are five different forests. So altogether there are twelve. So here Rupa Goswami described that Tatrapi Rasotsava Vrindaranyam. Krishna took birth, the birthplace of Krishna, Krishna Janmabhumi, that region of why Mathura is greater than, superior than. <clears throat> more important than Vaikuntha and because Krishna displays his most confidential pastime in 12 forest of Braj Vrindavan. Tatra Pira Sosavat Vrindaranyam. Krishna displays his most confidential pastime, <clears throat> important pastime, especially Ras Lila in the forest of Braj. Therefore, since Krishna displays his Ras Lila in Vrindavan, that region why Vrindavan or other 12 forests, altogether 12 forests, they are superior, greater than Mathura. <clears throat> and then Vrinda Randyam Udara Pani Ramada Tatra Pigovardhanam and Giraji Govardhan, which is located, situated in Vrindavan, one of the 12 forests of Braj. For your information, there are 12 forests. <coughs> so, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, first time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited, came to Vrindavan, Braja. First Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took his holy dip in you know, Visram Ghat in Jamuna River. And from there, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took darshan of Keshav Dev, the birthplace of Krishna. From there, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did Chaurashi Kos Parikarvan, Braja Yatra. <coughs> so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu roamed, walked in a certain sequence. In that sequence, first forest on the western bank of Jamuna is Madhuban. Madhuban is the forest where even Dhru Maharaj performed his austerity. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from there moved to Talvan, which is that is the place where one demon in a farm of a donkey, Ayas was living, Dhenukasur, and he was delivered by Lord Pradam. So second forest, first forest Madhuban, second forest is <coughs> Talvan, and next forest, third forest, that is called Umudvan, and then Bhavlaban. And again, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu entered in Vrindavan. After Vrindavan, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Kamban. And after Kamban, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Khadirvan. Seven, okay, now. Someone's counting. 
okay let us remember <coughs> first one madhuban talban kumudban bahulaban vrindavan kamban or khadirban these are the seven forests <coughs> and then chaitanya mahapur crossed the jamuna river near chir ghat there is celebrated place where the gopis perform or <coughs> did the katyayani vratam vrat then chaitanya prabhu <coughs> enter in eastern bank of jamuna five <coughs> first is प्लेस ऑफ लक्ष्मी देवी एंड देन चैतन्य महाप्रभु इंटर इन लोहबन एंड देन चैतन्य महाप्रभु इंटर इन Gokul or Mahavan. So all together there are twelve forests. <coughs> so <coughs> twelve forests. In these forests, they are considered to be greater than or more important than Mathura because Krishna displays his first time. And in out of twelve forests, Giraji Govardhan is located in Vrindavan. So Giraji Govardhan is superior and greater than all twelve forests, especially all twelve forests. <coughs> and then Brinda Rani Mudar Pandira Pandira Mada Tatra Pigo Govardhana Radha Kunda Miha Pigo Kulpate Prema Mrita Plamana Purya Dash Virajato Giri Tate Shivam Viveki Naka. And <coughs> superior to Giraji Govardhan. Why Govard Govardhan is so important? Because Krishna lifted Giraji Govardhan for continuous seven days, seven nights, in order to protect the Parivasi, and also many other past time also Krishna displaying Giraji Govardhan. <coughs> Every single day Krishna came out from Nanda Gaon for herding the cow, grazing the cow, and moving here and there, especially on the Giraji Govardhan, the top of Giraji Govardhan. And many first time, <coughs> Krishna displayed like with the Dan Ghati, Dan Lila, that happened in Giraji Govardhan, and other many first time Krishna displayed, including cow herding first time. So even superior to Giraji Govardhan is. राधा कुंड राधा कुंड मिहा पिगो कुलपते प्रेमा मृता प्लावना राधा कुंड इज सुपीरियर टू गिराजी गोवर्धन बिकॉज इट इज ऑलवेज गोकुलपते प्रेमा मृता प्लावना मेनी वैष्णव डे डिस्क्राइब दैट कृष्ण आर ब्रजवासी स्पेशली गोपी प्रेम टुवर्ड्स ए कृष्ण and krishna prem towards the brajvasi that's a prem has taken a liquid form dravaru <clears throat> and that whatever water we by external is we could not perceive the importance of the water of uh, radha kund <clears throat> radha kund is the krishna attraction for brajvasi Cowherd boys, Mother Jasoda, Nand Baba, and Gopi, and <clears throat> Brajavasi attraction, prem for Krishna. That prem, the love has taken shape, liquid, and that liquid is the water of Radha Kund. Prema Mrita Plavana. <clears throat> Therefore, Kuriya Dasu Virajate Gritate Shiva Viveki Naka. So, who is intelligent person? Any intelligent person who could dis discriminate between good and bad, if he is very intelligent person, certainly that person will have desire to live or serve Radha Kund, or at least at least one night the person is supposed to ex. If he is intelligent enough, then he spend <clears throat> lives on the bank of Radha Kund. <coughs> also. 
when Brajavasi prem for Krishna and Krishna prem for Brajavasi, if it is in the frozen form, it becomes solid, then it takes self shape of Radha uh, Giraji Govardhan. <coughs> we see that simple sila stone, but that is not a stone, that is actually the attraction for Krishna towards Brajavasi and Brajavasi attraction for Krishna that has taken shape, a stone, solid thing, and that is Giraji Govardhan. <coughs> Therefore, every Acharya, whosoever in they have desire, the, or at least they develop desire to visit at least once in a lifetime in that area of Brazil. You know, Narottam Das Thakur, many times we have described it. <coughs> Narottam Das Thakur, one of the very important achar in our Sampradaya, our disciple succession, was a great devotee. <coughs> so he has described he has revealed his desire. Kabe Govardhana Giri Heri Banayana Bhari. Oh Simit Radharani. Hey Krishna, when I will be fortunate enough to see Giraji Govardhan in my full content. Kabe Govardhana Giri Heri Banayana Bhari. And then Kabe Habe Radha Kundevash. And when I will get opportunity or chance to live on the bank of Radha Kund. And then also, Brahmite, Brahmite, Kave, Edeha, Patan, Hare, Kave, Dina, Narutta, Madash. And hey, Krishna, hey, Smith, Radha, and when I will be fortunate enough <coughs> to Brahmite, Brahmite, walking from one forest to another. Brahmite, Brahmite, from one forest to another, a twelve forest. <coughs> Brahmite, Brahmite, Kave, Edeha, Patan, when that time will come by all energy, <coughs> worldly energy, power will be exhausted, after I will finish, and I, Indriya, <coughs> Shakti, senses, I, my senses lose all, senses will be exhausted from the all energy, and I have no power from walking from one forest to another forest, my whole energy will be completely exhausted, <coughs> and I, my body will fall on the dust of Braja forever. So when that opportunity, so that is where the track of land, that is called Braja, is so important <clears throat> that the reason why all the great devotees are, they acharya, they desire, they want to visit Vrindavan. Of course, it is very nice to live there in Vrindavan forever. <clears throat> In Vrindavan, many things important, but taking birth in Braj is very important. But that opportunity <coughs> we have lost. We have, we have some other, we have chosen, or we have <coughs> some other place we took birth. And another important activity that is live in Vrindavan and execute Krishna consciousness. Cultivate Krishna consciousness. Taking birth is very important. And living there, cultivating Krishna consciousness, Krishna Premi, that is also very nice, very auspicious, very important. <coughs> and also, this is also important to so leave the body there. So, <coughs> first opportunity we lost. About the birth, we have no choice. <coughs> we take another place. But, <coughs> but at least, if we can go physically, at least we should have developed desire to be there and cultivate Krishna consciousness. In. And of course, every devotee, they also long they have desire, I mean, they develop desire to quit, leave the, this body in the dham. And also it is described that any of the three, <coughs> if you are doing that person, if simply doesn't do anything, simply quits the body, leaves the body in that dham. He becomes eligible, he qualified enough to enter in the spiritual planet. Swarup Goswami talks about the importance of, first of all, Mathura. 
अबाउट मथुरा डिस्क्रिप्शन अहो मधुपुरी धन्या वैकुंठा च गरीयसी दीनम एकम निवास न हरौ भक्ति प्रजायते अहो मधुपुरी धन्या वैकुंठा च गरीयसी मथुरा इज गरीयसी हेवियर देन वैकुंठ एंड दीनम एकम निवास न एकम दीनम अपि निवास न मथुरा हरौ भक्ति प्रजायते simply by spending overnight one day 24 hours if someone get up and she live in mathura <coughs> dinam ekam nivasena harau bhakti prajayate that person get a spontaneous attraction for hari krishna simply <coughs> with a you spend dinam ekam nivasan if someone opportunity to live there <coughs> Also, there are seven, of course, Puri considered to be simply by there. If there someone living there, cultivating Christian consciousness, or even quitting the body, leaving the body, that person become eligible to enter a uh, spiritual plant. There are seven are <coughs> Ajodhya, Mathura, Maya, Kasi, Kanchi, Avantika, or Puri, Dwaravati. These are the seven cities. <coughs> You know, Mathura, and then Ajodhya, that birth field for Lord Ramcha, Mathura, <coughs> so Ajodhya, Mathura, Maya, Maya means Maya Purman, please. <laughs> no, Haridwar, <coughs> Maya Puri, you know, Puri, this is like uh, a boat. <coughs> Maya Puri means uh, Haridwar. <coughs> Ajodhya, Mathura, Maya, Kashi, Varansi, everyone you know. <coughs> Kanchi, Kanchi, Puran, South India. <coughs> Ajodhya, Mathura, Maya, Kashi, Kanchi, Avantika. Avantika means Ujjain, the place where <coughs> Shandi Puni Muni was residing and Krishna went there for education, for Shiksha. <coughs> and Dwarka, Dwaravati. <clears throat> so, out of the seven, Mathura is most important. I <clears> said, <throat> Ajodhya, Mathura, Maya, Kashi, Kanchi, Avantika, Puri, Dwaravati, Dwarka. <clears throat> out of the seven, all these have potency. These seven cities, they have potency simply by living there. Haro Bhakti Parjayate simply a spontaneous attraction for Krishna develops in the heart of a devotee. <clears throat> but in Mathura is really, really important. Rupa Goswami has quoted this verse in Bhakti Rasami Sindhu, Nectar of Devotion. <clears throat> when he was talking about the five most important aspects of devotional service, they are Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> Rupa Goswami described that 64 limbs of devotional service. <coughs> Out of them, five considered very, very important. <coughs> so, and if someone lives there in Mathura, our brother, he gets all the other four important aspects also simply living there. Those five are <coughs> Offenselessly chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Second is association of devotee. <coughs> and that worshipping the deity. Deity worship. <coughs> and chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. <coughs> and fifth one is <coughs> relishing the reading Srimad Bhagavatam, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. So these all the five are very important, but if someone lives there in Braja, he gets opportunity in Vrindavan always opportunity for chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. <coughs> Deity worship is there and Dhambash, Dhambash is the fifth one. <coughs> so again, <coughs> chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra offenselessly, <coughs> worshipping Sri Vikra, <coughs> association of devotee <coughs> and Relishing the meaning of Srimad Bhagavatam in association of devotee, <coughs> relishing Srimad 
and fifth residing in holy dham especially in Braj, in vrindavan so that is reason why big big acharya important acharya they used to visit that is reason why even when chaitanya mahaprabhu came Braj, described chaitanya chaitanya described that <clears throat> as soon as chaitanya mahaprabhu saw mathura city pilots upper part of tight pilots <coughs> big many <clears throat> big big houses <clears throat> immediately chaitanya mahapur fall flat on the ground offer of senses for the dham and then chaitanya mahapur entered of course first time he visited on first place he visited that is bisram ghat <clears throat> very important wedding ghat in mathura of course the most important place and there chaitanya mahapur took a holy dip Though Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the supreme personality of Godhead himself, he is the Krishna himself, but he is teaching us how we should respect <coughs> Dham. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Sram Ghat, took a holy dip, and then Darshan, after Darshan, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did Parikarma of this. <coughs> so Chaitanya so again, so since Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, <coughs> Rupa Goswami talks about that. So again, we should remember at least mentally we should visit all those places, all field forests. <coughs> so again, we I remind you, <coughs> first is <in> Madhuvan, <coughs> second, Talvan, third, Kumudvan. Kumudvan is forest where even Lord Kapila also perform austerity. There is still a Kund pond. <coughs> Kumud Kunde, name also the Kumud, <coughs> and then Bahula Ban, then Vrindavan, Kamban, Khadirban, and right up a crossing river they call Bhadrban, where Vasasur was delivered. <coughs> One demon came in the form of a calf. One demon came in the form of a big bull, but this was arrested. <coughs> So Bhadravan and after Bhadravan comes Bhandirvan and after Bhandirvan comes Belvan where Lakshmiji is still Lakshmiji performing the street. And there are very important celebrated de deity and temple of Lakshmi Devi there. And Lakshmi Devi is still even today now performing a street with the intention <coughs> with that uh, he has she has <clears throat> perform a city in order to get entrance in the Rash Lila. So far, so far, <clears throat> Lakshmi Devi has not access for Rash Lila. is not allowed. But for that end, <clears throat> she is still performing a city. And then comes Lohaban. Lohaban <clears throat> is the place where vital took place between Krishna and Jarashan, of course, 18 times. So seven, 17 times, <coughs> Krishna become victorious. But towards the end, Krishna was defeated. That is low on that battlefield of, <coughs> battlefield says, Krishna and Jarashan, Krishna army, army of Mathura and army of Magadha. Headed by Jarashan, the battlefield, that is called Lohaban, and then comes Mahaban or Gokul. Gokul is the place where original residence of Nanda Baba and Mother Jashoda. Of course, as soon as Krishna took appeared, Krishna appeared in Mathura in the prison house of Kamsa. <coughs> and same night, Krishna was transferred in the Gokul. And Krishna lived there in Gokul, a little more than three years. Three years and two, three months Krishna lived in Gokul, and then Krishna moved in Vrindavan. So here Rupa Goswami talks about important their dham. <coughs> Krishna says, Imam Prapya Bhajaswam, Anityam Asukham Lokam Imam Prapya Bhajaswam. Krishna advised that this material existence material world is temporary and full of misery 
there is no happiness <coughs> but a spiritual planet <coughs> is eternal and full of delight full of happiness transcendental bliss is there therefore it is advised by krishna advice imam prapya bhajaswamam therefore all living entities should take certain lotus feet of lord krishna <coughs> okay so i should stop there you have any question or comment regarding this i was talking about the importance of braja गोवर्धन आलो इन दोवर्धन टॉप ऑफ गोवर्धन कृष्ण पर राशलीला इज प्रपाल एडिशनल इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ गोवर्धन इज लिफ्टेड दैट फॉर प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ दिस राश फॉर दैट रीजन राशलीला हैपन ऑन द टॉप ऑफ गिराज गोवर्धन एज वेल इन द केव ऑफ राश इन द केव ऑफ गोवर्धन आल्सो मानसी गंगा इज सिचुएटेड लोकेटेड इन द गोवर्धन हिल part of govardhan hill there also krishna perform in manasi ganga itihas ras lila but additional that <coughs> here <coughs> rup goshami se <coughs> udar pani ramada tatra govardhan <coughs> govardhan <coughs> krishna hand krishna hand become the uh, playground of govardhan a description bhav is bharsh talks about udar pani ramada krishna pani hand palm was become the playground for giraj giraj was playing on <coughs> that region why and also for protection of brijvasi krishna so because krishna palm or hand become the playground for giraj giraj was playing for seven day and for that region yeah, rup go sai mention about this <coughs> you have heard about Bharat Raj. <coughs> What is meaning of Bharat Raj? <coughs> Bhar means benediction. <coughs> Dha means who bestow, <coughs> give. Raj means. <coughs> so Lord is standing there, right? Eh? Not sitting. He is standing. <coughs> Bharat Raj due to that. place is place for brad varad raj <coughs> sapartar kanchi otherwise his name is mentioned that seven 
अयोध्या मथुरा माया काशी कांची अवंतिका एंड पुरी द्वारावती द्वारका दीजिए ओके माता जी I could not get it. That you were saying about using the mind, like you can mentally, you can mentally use it. So I call Manasa Sutra. And I just love how you brought that up. Because really, in our own mind, whenever we get into that rasa, that spiritual bliss related to Krishna, of course, yes. to use. DT is closing for that. Yes. <coughs> Better to go there physically, but if not possible, then we have no option. At least I know also it is as good as being there also. <coughs> Manas Puja. Okay, anything I think. Yes. In that Maya <coughs> means Haritva. <coughs> no, <coughs> there are Puri, there are some Dham. It is like <coughs> Jagannath Puri Nam name is not there. <coughs> Brindavan <coughs> name is not there. Brindavan. <coughs> so and because some places uh, they are directly they are Dham. And where it is the place of Krishna. So, Dham is considered to be greater than, more important than that seven Puri. And the Maya means Haridwar, it's not Mayapur. Mayapur is like Vrindavan, Giraj, Yukubhatanji, Dham. So, superior than. Puri is considered the dham. That region why is here Mathura. <coughs> of course, that is dham also, but since, since it is Puri also, by Kuntha Janito Bara Madhupuri, Madhupuri is greater than, Mathura is greater than by Kuntha, and <coughs> Brinda, forest of Brindavan are greater than Mathura. And Giraj Govardhan is greater than 12 forest of Mathura. And situated right in the foot hill of Giraj Govardhan, Radha Kund, it even superior to, superior than Giraj Govardhan. The Prema Mrita Plavanat. <coughs> Prem Amrita. Always it is flooded. That track of land, that area, that Kundi always flooded, over flooded, indebted <coughs> by the Prem Amrit, by the nectar of love. Krishna, Gopi, attraction Gopi, Prem for Krishna, or Krishna Prem for Gopi, that has taken a shape in a liquid form. That is absolutely transcendent. Therefore, Kurya Desu Virajatu Giritate Shevam Viveki Naka. Any Viveki person, intelligent person, certainly he will hanker, <coughs> will develop desire to be there, take bath there uh, in Radha Kun. Better to live there for whole life, <coughs> if not possible, than at least one month. In the month of Karthik, if not possible, three night, if not possible, at least one single night we must spend. <coughs> that place has potential. Simply by touch of the dust of that place, <coughs> the dust of Vrindavan, it has potential, it has ability 
to revive our Krishna consciousness. Of course, Krishna Prem is every single living entity. They have Krishna Prem, Shuddha Krishna Prem in their heart. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhya Kabhunaya Sarvanadi Shuddha Siddha Karavi. Krishna Prem is there with us. Shuddha Prem. <coughs> Simply we have to revive it. So if go there in Braja, is it becoming instant? <coughs> You can revive our Krishna consciousness, awaken our Krishna consciousness. Any other question? I have a question regarding uh, the qualification to enter into the Nava. So, in this uh, question, could the person give the ninth instruction? Could the previous eight instructions that we followed? The qualification to enter into the Nindavan and the Why do you qualify? The qualification to enter into the Nindavan and the Nindavan. The qualification to enter into the Nindavan and the Nindavan. The qualification to enter into the by the mercy of Srimadharata and anybody entering there in Dham, <coughs> they don't think that they are very much qualified. <coughs> this is causeless mercy of Srimati Radharana. So somehow there we have to invoke the causeless mercy. Ahamlok chahenge ki hamlok qualified ban jaye, arn karne qualification. Hone wala nahi hai, hoga nahi. Better to invoke the mercy, causeless mercy of <coughs> and. <coughs> Of course, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was talking with Raj Ramananda, a very celebrated conversation took place on the bank of Godavari River. One question was how we can revive Krishna consciousness. <coughs> so, Krishna Rasabhavita Mati Kriyatam Kutopi Labhyate Tatra laulam mati mulyam ekalam koti jan sudhir dhina lakhate. Only if you can pay that price, laulam, intense greed to have it, get it. Intense desire, intense greed to enter in the realm of Braja. So if you can, <coughs> that will be it will become qualified. Anybody we can simply. Tatra laulam api mulyam ekalam. Laul means low. Greed. Intense greed to go there. <laughs> Enter in prison. So that happened by causeless mercy of Srimitrata. Otherwise, <coughs> no one is qualified enough to go there, be there. Him and Brahma. <coughs> begging for a dust. And I, I explain Lakshmi Devi is still performing a sweet deal. She has not access entered in the Rashli life. Up to now, even today, she is performing. So <coughs> only by causeless mercy of Srimati Radharani. Somehow that we should invoke that mercy of Srimati Radharani Krishna, then that will be. If they will allow, then anybody can enter there. Okay, so I think I should stop here. Srila Prabhupada ki.